603 and this weekend city crews are going to begin work on several sidewalks throughout the West Campus area. City says it's going to improve the mobility in that area. Candy Rodriguez joining us live from that area this morning with more. Good morning. John and Sally, good morning. The city is working to upgrade up to 18 curb ramps, kind of like this one, and fill in the gaps on sidewalks like we are right here on 24th Street. This is all part of the city's Waterloo Corridor project. They hope these enhancements will improve safety and mobility for people in the area. Here's a look at the streets slated to get those improvements on your screen. This includes Nueces Street right down the road from us from on the west side just north of 25th Street and the east side south of 26th. Then on 24th Street, they'll focus on the north side between Waterloo Street and Nueces Street as well as the south side just west of Waterloo. They also have plans for the 25th and 26th Street. The city says these improvements are necessary. One longtime UT student and West Campus neighbor agrees. We see that West Campus has been renovated a lot. A lot of these buildings are popping up. So we know that the, the people here are investing in this neighborhood. So it would be pretty important if they also invest in um, updating the infrastructure. We want to sh make sure that people have you know, access to um, the sidewalks and making sure that it's ADA compliant. This project will take crews about four weeks to complete. They'll start this weekend, but they'll be out here Monday through Friday working from 7 in the morning to 6 in the evening with some weekend work. Back to you. Okay, Candy, thank you very much. Lighting is another big concern in that area. The city announced in the spring that it's going to be installing more lights in that area or at least improving and repairing the lights that are there. Austin Energy, Energy tells us that its illumination group is working overnight to repair and replace street lights before the semester starts. The department has also pruned three quarters of the trees that were blocking the overhead street lights.